Good morning po sa ating lahat. Kayo po ay uh, kakasama-sama muli. Um, kayo po ay mag-reflect ang ating focus ay tungkol sa ating mga families. Our families during this pandemic. Today, families, households bear the brunt of COVID-19. Yung mga shutdowns, yung mga restrictions. Every family member is called to reach new levels ng creativity, ng flexibility, and support sa bawat isa. Alam niyo po na natatandaan ko nung pag-umpisa nitong pandemic na ito and the school year started around uh, August of last year. Our kids had so much trouble adjusting sa kanilang online classes. And with that, tayo po mga magulang had to adjust, had to be flexible and become super moms and super dads. Kailangan po maging tutor tayo at the same time. Kailangan maging technician tayo ng mga computers sa mga bata. And at the same time as we do all our work, trabaho, sa bahay, our professions, ano po man yan. So, we are called to support each other, especially ni mga kabataan ngayon sa suffer and depression. I remember that uh, our youngest son, si me, one point in time during the start of the online session, sabi niya sa mami niya, Mami, ano po ang purpose ng life? That immediately sparked a concern sa aming magkasawa. So we said, we really have to bear so much more today. The COVID-19 pandemic places heavy responsibilities on all of us, all of us, especially our church leaders. Kailangan pong gumiya ng gusto sa ating mga brothers and sisters in church family. Well, despite all these troubles that we are going through, despite all the Um, deprivation ng ating mga dating ginagawa. You know what? God's design sa ating mga family is here with us. God has designed to have a family focus during this pandemic. Sabi nga po ng marami natin mga kaibigan, alam nyo, despite all these things that are happening sa atin, We are thankful na nagkaroon na tayo ng panahon sa ating mga asawa. Nagkaroon na tayo ng tamang panahon, quality time sa ating mga anak. We used to have none of those things before the pandemic. So God's design, and God has designed, and entrusted families with the care of the members in sickness and in health. Families honor the sacredness of life in all of its vulnerability and precarity o yung pagiging nasa bingit ng panganib. Sabi po yan sa Psalms chapter 68, verse 6. God has equipped many families, all families, ng resilience, adaptability, and love for just such a time as this that we have. We, can, we could look at many verses in the Bible. Pero ito po, I picked a few of them that could probably bring our focus better back into our families. Ako po as a policy maker, as, as used to be a policy maker as a national government, we used to talk about build back better programs. Pag meron po mga disasters, we look forward beyond the disasters and look at how we are going to rebuild our communities. Build back better. Bounce back better after the pandemic or even during the pandemic. Sabi po sa 1 Peter 3.1 This is a role for the wives. How do we bounce back better during this pandemic? Sabi po, Wives, be in subjection to your own husbands, that if any obey not the word, they also may without the word be won by the conversation of the wives. Timeless po ito. Alam na po natin ito even before the pandemic. But we are being brought back to this role 
again during this pandemic. And sabi rin sa mga husbands sa Colossians 3.19, Husbands, love your wives and be not bitter against them. This is for the children. Think about and reflect. In Colossians 3.20, Children, obey your parents in all things, for this is well-pleasing unto the Lord. Tayo naman po ng mga tatay. Sabi po sa Colossians 3.21, Fathers, do not exasperate your children so that they will not lose heart. Yung exasperation po dito, ang meaning dito is to not discourage the children in any way, in words, actions. Minsan po tayo mga fathers, stress na stress na rin sa trabaho. Kaisip ng napakaraming worries and how to protect our families. But we forget to be kind in words. When patience is tested, we say words that we ought not to say to our kids and to our wives. Do not discourage them because words discourage. Words matter to our family members. When we read the whole of chapter 5 of Ephesians, we will understand better kung ano po yung kanya-kanyang role ng mga family members. From wives to the husbands and to each other. Tayo po brothers and sisters in Christ. How must we deal with each other? How must we treat each other? Sabi po sa unang verse pa lang eh, Be ye therefore followers of God as dear children and walk in love as Christ also had loved us. And try to look at the middle verse of this chapter and we see, See then that you walk circumspectly, not as fools but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil. Wherefore be ye not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is, and be not drunk with wine, wherein is excess, but be filled with the Spirit. Ang dami po natin, umiinom ng alak ngayong panahon na ito to drown our depression. Don't. Instead, drown ourselves with the Word of God. Time sa pag-aaral and devotion. Word. This is not the time for us to waste anything, especially in time for families. Church family, our genetic family, our adoptive families, whatever family you may be in, spend quality time. Here's our prayer for everyone. I hope that this brings peace into your hearts, in every family, in every member, you are family. Father, thank you for providing us this moment to reflect on our families, on your family. Salamat po, Panginoon, at kahit sa gitna ng pandemya, you supply our every need according to your riches and glory in Christ Jesus. In Christ, we are never alone. We are family. Please protect us, Father, from this pandemic. Protect the surfaces that we touch and shield us from the airborne germs na nagtithreaten to expose us. Father, guard our lungs. Help us to be patient as we obey the wise orders of our government to social distance. Protect us and the members of our family and our community. The frontliners report to work each day, Father. We pray for this pandemic to stop the spread of infection. Heal those who have COVID-19 and protect those who have been exposed to it from contracting the illness. Thank you for all your provisions, Father. And we pray for healing. In Jesus' name, Amen. Magandang umaga po. Take care.